All right, hello, how's it going? If you don't remember me, I'm someone you were maybe subscribed to at one point, and if not, the YouTube algorithm is definitely doing something today, saying that this is a video you should watch. In that case, if you're a new viewer, a new subscriber, welcome to the video, and if you're about to click off, hey, thanks for coming anyway, I appreciate it, and YouTube algorithm, what are we doing? But if you're watching this video and it was on your, you know, subscription feed, you're probably watching this video now, clicking on it and saying, whoa, it's the guy who used to upload Fortnite videos and one hour loop emotes and stuff like that, what's going on? Or you're thinking, Oh, it's the guy who made Call of Duty videos and specifically supply drop videos from Advanced Warfare. And that's why I subscribed to him at the time. And now I fell off. And I mean, if we want a really big ego boost, you can also say, whoa, I swear I recognize you from a Mr. Beast video from way back in the day before he got famous. The following is a best of flip montage. Now, Flip Arts is not like most YouTubers. He does not break his controller if he didn't get a gun he wanted. He does not pay hundreds of dollars for supply drops just so he can spam open them for easy views. He has realistic reactions and he ultimately just has fun in his videos. Videos. What you're about to watch is clips from all of Flipart's advanced supply drop openings. There's at least one clip from every single video he's made, and they're in order from his first video to his last video, so you can see how the legend progressed to what he is today. Ooh, all right. Yeah, my ego is pretty huge. And of course, if you're an OG subscriber here on the channel, you're gonna remember me as the guy who used to do sea walking videos, which is a form of dancing. It's mostly footwork stuff. Could be considered gang related, but it's not. And you could consider that as, you know, me getting a camera, putting it down or some kind of elevated position and then doing a dance to any kind of song. And you could think, yeah, he is kind of like the pioneer to dancing TikTok videos, Instagram reels and YouTube shorts to where now it is the dancing TikTok videos, Instagram reels and YouTube shorts, which by the way, if you want to follow me on all of those social medias, link will be down here from below. It takes like five seconds. It's free. Click, click, boom, boom. You're done. But anyways, if you guys saw the title of this video or you guys saw the thumbnail of this video, I'm doing something right and you guys are on this video for a reason. Whether you guys care enough to figure out what's going on or whatever, feel free to even like speed up me talking in this video two times fast or whatever if you want to get through the content because we're basically just going to be talking about stuff. Not really too much gameplay things going on in this video. It's just kind of like a one-on-one. -on -one. But essentially, I wanted to talk about a few topics. I had to like write some notes down for myself. So if I look like I'm going like this a lot, it's because I've, I've got to like keep myself on track. And so for today's video, we're just going to be doing a little talk here and talking about why I have been on and off on the YouTube game for making content as well as streaming. I have always tried to do like a streak and it went really well and then it tanked and we're going to get into pretty much what happened. We're also going to be talking about what I've been doing since then and then the future plans I have for this channel. So hopefully I can do this in some record time. So starting off with why I've been on and off again with YouTube and just, you know, making content, streaming, and then just disappearing for a long time again. So let's just say the last couple of years from when COVID pretty much happened or a little bit before COVID all the way until now, my life has drastically changed and, you know, for the better, I would say. So let's just say during that time and during these last two years, I've been in a really dark place at that time anyway to where perhaps I wouldn't be around right now. And I like to think like many people, I had my own battles with, you know, mental demons, depression, trying to figure out my own self-worth and, you know, really figuring out who I am or what I'm supposed to be. And luckily, I found an amazing person through the whole darkness and I've been able to have that person be by my side and, you know, help me through all of my battles all the way through keeping myself from doing things that would be much worse to myself. And along with that person, I've also had really amazing friends come forward as well and really take me for who I am and, you know, help me kind of like put the pieces back together and, you know, help me figure out where I'm supposed to be, keep me accountable for things and also be with me basically every step of the way, even when I didn't ask them to. And I cannot be anything more than blessed and be in debt to them for keeping me company. They're always checking up on me. They're always keeping me on track and they're always just making sure I'm okay. And, you know, that's what else could you ask for? And on the other end of the spectrum, I would say that I have have lost tons of people that I would consider as friends or close friends, even best friends due to situations that arise during that whole thing. People blatantly subtweeting or sub posting about me without hearing my half the story because apparently you know, it doesn't matter what I think, as well as just, you know, other situations with other misunderstandings. But sometimes that really does tell you the character and motives of some people. And so how that relates to YouTube, boy, let me tell you, all of that just basically made me super demotivated to just do anything at all content wise. I didn't know like what I wanted to post anymore. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Was it worth me posting anything? And honestly, one of the worst things about being a content creator as well, especially when you're already down in the dumps, already depressed, is when you even attempt to make a YouTube video and you you post it and it's not doing well, you know, you're used to maybe seeing, I don't know, a number that you're happy with, whether it's like a thousand views, 500 views, or, or even more than that. And you post it and it gets like 10 views in two days or something like that. That is, you know, definitely a kick in the balls to make you not want to continue posting. 
because you're like, well, nobody likes it. You know, that's really not the great mind track to have on it. But, you know, when you're already there, what else is happening? And I'm not going to lie. At some point, I honestly just started shit posting spam content on my channel because I figured, you know, I still have this big YouTube channel with some sort of audience still left on here. And I'm just going to attempt to keep it alive, even though literally my heart was not in that type of videos that I was making. My soul was not in any of the process of doing those videos. I was literally just shit posting, you know, easy Fortnite challenge guides or trying to do commentaries on Call of Duty stuff and updates. And even though I looked happy in some of those videos and I was was like though know, doing a face cam and all that stuff in the back of my mind in the back of my soul i was just like i, I don't even know why i'm even attempting to try to post this I'm, I'm still trying to like cling on to something but in more recent times i have been able to start becoming a stronger person mentally and you know keep myself accountable without having other people to keep me accountable really rely on myself and make sure that i am doing things to make myself better and so with that i've also been making smaller moves away from this main channel to work on other things other projects that i had in mind that i've always wanted wanted to do but one of the smaller moves that I've made is making a separate channel a dedicated Fortnite channel for just Fortnite content called Flip Arts FN all of my stuff is dedicated to that channel there for everything Fortnite related and I also got my childhood love back for Pokemon and especially just opening Pokemon cards and you know other things that I might actually add on to the channel there's another channel separate for that as well called I think Flip Arts TCG or something the channel might end up changing later and so my plans for the next coming months or the future of this channel I'm gonna figure out what I post on here and hopefully you guys like it if you don't you know feel free to unsubscribe it is what it is you know times are changing people's attention spans are changing things that people like to watch aren't maybe the things they used to like watching a couple years ago so we're gonna figure it out every step of the way and so i'd like to start making exciting gaming content irl content perhaps as well i've had a lot of ideas it's one of those things where you think about it and it just doesn't sound as good the next day so i really got to figure that out obviously i'm going to be taking inspirations from youtubers that i watch on the daily i could almost say almost religiously as well and honestly i won't be be surprised if my content comes off as like ripoffs or bootlegs of existing youtubers contents because imitation is the greatest form of flattery i think that's kind of how the quote goes hopefully there's enough personality from me making that content that it can be my own content without seeming like i'm just ripping off another youtuber maybe i post a video like once a week or something just to see you know how things are going and stuff even if the video tanks but i'm really happy with the video itself that's all that really matters to me and so that leads us to today so even though the thumbnail says the end or this is the end or, or something like that i don't really want to call it that it's not really like an end of the era type of thing this is more for me considered like a new game plus a new game plus like i already know all this stuff about youtube i know about you know creating content how to do them quicker da 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 it's just that now I'm gonna kind of mentally take it as me starting anew again on this channel with everything I know going forward kind of like when you prestige in Call of Duty you have all the skill you just go back to level one so hopefully everything goes a little bit better going forward we're gonna see where this leads us to and don't be surprised if at some point in time I just disappear again I mean, who knows it could be for good it could be temporary I don't know if I really want something then like I've always been preaching you got to go and get it if this is something that you really think you can do something that can keep you different from everybody else and you really think you can make it out here then you got to go for it I like to preach that a lot and then I sit in bed and just scroll on TikTok for hours and decide to procrastinate about everything and then blame myself for not being productive when I could have just been productive I'm just gonna try my best to do what I can I have all of these other channels that you guys can view if you guys want to go and check them out the link will be in the description if you guys want to go and subscribe to those channels as well it would definitely help me out and i will eventually get back into streaming but it is, something's going on on twitch so i don't know if we're still going to be doing like twitch streams we might just do like youtube streams or something i don't know i don't know what's going on over there but yeah it's been a hell of a two years and the only thing i can say is i'm really thankful that i'm still here still around and i've had friends to help me be here keep me grounded and and you know really lift me up when when i was in, in one of the darkest holes i could possibly be in and so either way consider me being back or don't i don't know it's up to you thank you for subscribing if you have been subscribed to the channel and staying subscribed and if you're unsubscribing hey thank you for being here this whole time i appreciate it and maybe you'll come back in the future maybe you won't i don't know i'm glad that you were around at all and so either way i'm gonna go thank you guys for watching i appreciate it if you guys again want to see me on all my other accounts for fortnite and pokemon and all the other stuff and maybe even streaming subscribe to the links down description below pretty cool stuff and all my other social media the links is there as well everything's everything's down there but either way thank you guys again for watching i'll catch you on the flip side so arts out goodbye have a good one i'll, I'll see ya don't forget to subscribe with notifications on that'd be great but um i'll see you in the next one toodaloo goodbye um you can you can leave now uh i'll
I'll I'll I'll leave I'll leave now. 